Good morning, Friendship United Methodist Church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless all of you this day, on this Lord's Day. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on. Come on, church. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last year, this time, we weren't able to celebrate Father's Day in this way in worship, but thanks be to God, we are here this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Saints of God, we are so thankful to have one of our very own to lead worship this morning. Praise God, Brother Sammy Presley. He will come forth now and lead us through this worship. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Reverend James. Uh, first of all, we want to say good morning, good morning to each morning. and every one this morning as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this special day for this special occasion, which is Father's Day. Amen. Amen. And we just thank you for this opportunity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we, most of all, we thank God for yes, it. Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes, um, yes. We want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers yes. and to all the ladies. Good morning good and morning. God bless you. Uh, we already had our opening hymn and now we are down to our prayer. Yes. Brother Sherman Green couldn't be with us this morning. So I will offer a word of prayer with you this morning. And we ask that you will pray along with me as Amen. I stand in the gap for Amen. this congregation. Yes. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, yes, Lord. we come once again, Lord, thanking and praising you for everything and for everyone. Yes, Lord. Lord, we couldn't make it on this journey by ourselves. But just like the song say, we have come this far by faith. Yes, sir. Amen. And surely we are leaning and depending on you, Lord. Amen. As we strive now to celebrate this day, Lord, we just ask that you will be with us, Lord. And, and we ask you, we ask you, Lord, to lead us through this celebration. Because if you lead us, Lord, we will be successful. And we just ask that you will throw your loving arm of protection around us and show us what we need to do and how we need to do it in order that we might be successful. Amen. Lord, we ask your blessing upon all these bands on the choir this morning that they will sing Zion's song. We ask that you will look upon our musician, Lord, that you will anoint them that they will play the music to blend and make this program a success. Yes, yes. We ask, oh God, that you will look upon our pastor as he prepare himself to come and bring that word for us to hear this morning, Lord. Yes, yes. We just ask, oh God, that you will bless mankind everywhere, everywhere. in every situation, Lord, because, Lord, we need you this morning. Yes, Lord. We need you, Lord, and we just ask that you will have mercy on us and help us to do what is right, to do what is yes, pleasing yes, in yes, your sight. Yes. And if you do this for us, Lord, we'll be careful to give your name honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 amen, amen. At this time, we're going to call on our male chorus to bring us another selection at this time. Yes. Then I went over to my window. 
come, Jesus said to his disciple, let's cross to the other side of the lake. He was already in the boat, so they started out, leaving the crowd behind, although other boats followed, but but soon a fierce storm arose. Highway began to break into the boat until it was nearly full of water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Frankly, they woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you even care that we are going to drown? When he woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the water, Quiet down. Suddenly, the wind stopped and there was a great calm. And he asked them, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have faith in me? And they were filled with awe and said amongst themselves, 
who is this man that even the wind and the wave obey him? All right. Thus I have read, verse 35 to 41. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and for the mothers who have acted as fathers in the absence of their husbands. Amen, amen. Okay? Yes. Your morning announcements this morning. The United Methodist Women will meet on Saturday, June 26th at 10 o'clock a.m. in Friendship United Methodist at the Friendship, uh, the Fellowship Hall. All members are asked to be present and on time. The United Methodist Women will celebrate Women's Day on Sunday, July 18th at 10 o'clock a.m. All women are asked to be pr please donate $20 for the celebration. You do not have to wait until the third Sunday to make your donation. You may see your circle president or Shirley Neesmith at the, your earliest convenience. As always, thanking you for your continued support, Friendship United Methodist Women. <coughs> <coughs> sharing that's something we all should do Amen. share is a non-profit educational program seeking volunteers seeking volunteers with or without children at home are needed to host exchange students from Europe and Asia for the upcoming school year all students speak English, are covered with medical insurance, and have spending money for their personal expenses, and hope to arrive in August for enrollment in their new high school. For more information, you can contact Yvette at SHARE 800-941-3738, or you can reach her at SHARE dot SHARE Southeast southwest.org free COVID-19 vaccination clinic walk-ins are welcome this will be Thursday June 24th at 20 June 24th 2020 10 o'clock a.m. to 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock p.m. no ID insurance or appointments are required Additional announcements. Your t-shirts on the third order are back and you may pick them up after service today. Women, the men are cordially asking you for your support today. So they want you to dig deep and give them your support today Amen. for helping Amen. them out. Amen. If there are no further announcements, which I have, thank you very much. All right. Amen. Right here, we want to remind all men, if you haven't made your report yet, we ask that you would go through this door right here, the first door to your right. We got three men or three or four men in there collecting your dues. So y'all know what time it is. Just walk right through this door here, the first door to your right. Just go in there and see them men, and they will take your money. <laughs> At this time, we're going to ask the male chorus to give another selection, and then we'll proceed from there. So we're just trying to keep this celebration here brief yeah. and move on because we realize that it's hard out here and we don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. Amen. So please, please ma'am and please sir, bear with us just a little while, because before we go, we got to have the word, and Reverend James is ready to give that word to this morning. Thank you for listening, and uh, we ask you take due notice and govern yourselves accordingly. Amen. 
Pray for me. Amen. It's me again. Oh,
Y'all yeah. go ahead and honk them horns for the man going down. At this time, we are ready to bless the offering, the tithes and offering. And we'll move on. Amen. Before the pastor come, I want to do just a little short, a little short introduction of old pastor. You know he's been with us now one year and hadn't been actually introduced to this congregation. Amen. But we're not going to make it long. We're going to keep it short. All right, brother. Pastor Frank Vertel James is a native of King Street, South Carolina. He is the son of the late Reverend Simon and Mrs. Rochelle James. Pastor James is a 1975 graduate of Benedict College with a BA degree in music education. He had additional studies at University of South Carolina and Georgia State University in music. He has served as a music teacher in Baltimore, Maryland, and also worked in the school system in Columbia, South Carolina. Pastor James was also blessed to publish a book named The Choice is Yours and a used gospel CD entitled, Yes We Can, Yes We Will. Pastor James is married to Carolyn Mack James and has four children, eight grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. Pastor James enjoys preaching and teaching God's word and encouraging people to become followers of Jesus Christ. Most of all, he is a servant of the Most High God. Yes, sir. After the singing of our male chorus, the next voice you will hear will be none other than Pastor Frank Vertel Jim. Let's receive him now, please. Amen. Amen. Come on, choir.
Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise this morning. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, he is worthy to be lifted up. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this day, oh, God, a day we have never seen. Lord, we thank you for this Father's Day celebration. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for the male chorus. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Saints of God, I woke up this morning with Jesus on my mind. You know, it's good to have Jesus on your mind. I said it's good to have Jesus on your mind. Praise God. Seems like I'm falling in love with Jesus every day. He is so good. He is awesome in his own ways. Thank you, Jesus. Men, God bless you on this day. I pray much for your strength. Pray much for your, your ministry that God has given you. And it shall come to pass. Yes, saints of God, I just want to before reading the scripture, I just want to encourage all of you to take your vaccine. Please don't, 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 don't fear the shot. Praise God. Amen. Don't be afraid. Just trust God in this. Trust God in this. Because God is getting ready to do a new thing. Yes, he is. He is getting ready to do a new thing in the midst of trouble. Please take your, your vaccine and join us on the first Sunday in July. We will be worshiping in the sanctuary our first Sunday back in the sanctuary. I promise you we will follow uh, CDC uh, guidelines. Uh, we will make sure that you are seated six feet apart. Praise God. So it's going to be a wonderful day in the Lord. Praise God. Tell all your friends, your family members and co-workers to come join us. We will be having two services on the first Sunday to accommodate everyone. Amen? Amen? And not only that, saints of God, I will be meeting with the PPR committee, worship committee, and trustee prior to the first Sunday so that we can, can plan and uh, accommodate everyone that's coming. And PPR committee, I will be giving you a call. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And saints, I just want to to re-emphasize the t-shirt ministry. If you ordered your t-shirt, please see Ms. Pearl today. If you have not placed your order, do so today, please, before the first Sunday. We want everyone to wear your t-shirt. We are going to take pictures, especially one for the, for the advocate. Praise God, yes. This picture will be in the advocate. Hallelujah. And we pray that, that, that you will will purchase your t-shirt and wear it saints of God let people see listen you are a light and that t-shirt represents something it's not just a t-shirt it's an anointed and appointed t-shirt make sure you get your t-shirt if you don't have the money to place your order order your t-shirt you got the month of you know I'm being very lenient here we're going to give you the month of July to pay for your t-shirt now that's a good pastor. Now that is a good pastor. And hear this. The funds are going to the church. Not Pastor James. Come on saints of God. So we need you all to work with us. If you don't have your monies. Just go right ahead and order your t-shirt. Or someone may want to reach out to someone. Whom you know can't afford it. Purchase a t-shirt for them. Amen? Amen. Praise God. We're looking forward to having a good time in the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now we are ready for the word. I've been praying, asking God to keep the rain away. And it looks like God is doing just that for us. Amen. Isn't God good? All the time, God is good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Saints, I'm going to ask you first to turn with me to Proverbs 22. Yeah, let's go there first. Praise God. If you will, let's go to Proverbs 22. 
Oh, glory, hallelujah. There is so much to hear from the Lord. I've got so many notes here in my Bible. Bear with me. Proverbs chapter 22. And I will be reading for you hearing the sixth verse only. I pray you have your Bible. Saints of God, one thing about me, I love teaching. I love teaching. I love teaching God's word. Teaching opens your eyes to a lot of things. Yes, sir. It makes you see scriptures for what it is. Yes, sir. So don't forget, bring those Bibles with you, saints of God. Praise God. And guess what? You're going to be blessed, healed, and delivered by the word. Amen. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 22 in the sixth verse. Hear what it says. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now let's go to the scripture reading for today. Let's go to 1 Timothy, if you will. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. 1 Timothy chapter 3. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. I promise you, you're going to see something today that you have never seen before. Saints, I love teaching. I love being a radical spokesman for God. Amen. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 3. Now I'm going to read verses 1 through 7. Then we'll come back and give you the text. Here it is. This passage talks about uh, qualifications of overseers. Qualifications of deacons. <clears throat> qualification of God's called men. Hear what it says. 1 Timothy chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. I pray you're there because I want every eye to see this, saints. This is going to really open your eyes, your spirit, your soul. This is a faithful saying. If a man desires the position of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, Sober-minded, of good behavior, hospital, pardon me, hospitable, able to teach, not given to wine. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> not violent, not greedy for money. Wow, y'all, this is great. This is good already, y'all. But gentle, not quarrelsome, not covetous. One who rules his own house well having his children in submission with all reverence. For if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? Oh my God, my God. Verse 6. Not a, in, not a no voice, lest being puffed up with pride, he fall into the same condemnation as the devil. Moreover, he must have a good testimony among those who are outside, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Yes, yes. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Then let's go back and examine the text, verses 4 and 5. One who rules his own house well, having his children in submission with all reverence, Saints, we're going to stop there. All right. In other words, I'm going to have to give you part one today. And then next Sunday, I'm going to give you part two. We're going to have a, another men's day on Sunday. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. There's just too much to teach and preach in one day. Amen. Today, we're going to talk about men ruling their homes. Come on, somebody. Come on. Praise God. And next Sunday, we'll talk about the church. Man's position in the church. Can I get a witness, somebody? Let me give you a subject. Men are appointed to be leaders. All right. Men are appointed to be leaders. Part one. Thank you, Jesus. Let me give a subtopic. Stand up and man up. Go ahead, 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory, glory, glory. I feel the anointing right about now. Let us pray. Father God, we come, oh God, at this appointed celebration to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father God, for allowing our men to celebrate this Father's Day. Oh, God, we thank you for those who have come to bear witness, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Oh, Father God, take me out of the, out of the worldly equation this morning, oh God, and let me speak truth. Truth from above. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Just repeat after me. Men, God has appointed you to lead. Repeat after me. Men, God has ordained you to lead. Oh, y'all, we got a good word today. Thank you, Jesus. In today's world, it seems to be a shortage of spiritual men. It seems to be a shortage of good biblical teachers. Yes, there are some good men. I don't care what you say. There are some good men. However, God is searching for more spirit-filled men yes, to lead his people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just take a good look around the world. Yeah. Look around the United States, the state. Look around your community, your home, and even in the church. Yes, yes. The authority of a male is missing. Yes, sir. Not in all homes, but saints of God, we have gone from bad to worse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our young people are being raised without a father. Yes, oh my God. Yes, what do you expect? Yes, sir. Can I get a witness somebody? Yes, on, in some cases, men in prayer have left the home. My God, my God, my God. Spiritual leadership involves many of the same principles as general leadership. Spiritual leadership has certain distinctive qualities that must be understood and practiced if spiritual leaders are to be successful. Spiritual leadership will move God's people towards the cross. Spiritual leaders depend on the Holy Spirit. Spiritual leaders cannot change the heart of people, but God can. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Hear this, saints of God. Men, God has called you to be leaders. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. After Adam and Eve sinned, God appointed the husband as leader yes, in the house. Right. Look at it. Examine the scriptures. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception in pain. You shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. On, this is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Don't get angry with me. Amen. Just let me preach the truth. Amen, somebody. Now, 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 hear this. Leadership position of men in the church is supported by Paul in this way. Paul said, for Adam was formed first. Adam was formed first. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived fell into transgression. Yes, sir, Come on, somebody. Come on, this passage comes from 1 Timothy. Read it for yourself. Yes, sir, 
First Timothy chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. Yes, yes men are appointed to leadership. Men, God has called you to lead. Uh -huh. Now, saints of God, if you will, let us examine the text. First Timothy chapter 3. And we're going to look at verse 4 today. But next week we will look at verse 5. Come on, Hear what verse 4 says. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hear what it says. One who rules his own house well. Let's stop there. One who rules his own house house well on, my on, god on, my god on. my god thank you jesus saints of god good leaders comes after being a follower of a great leader yes, sir, yeah. 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 No, that's right. your grandfather yes, sir, that's right. your father that's right. That's right. uncle joe right. uncle roy yeah. come on. uncle leroy yeah. come on somebody come on. They showed you the way. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness, somebody? Yes, you know, maybe we need to go back to yesterday when, when those old old farmers, they, 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 they taught us the values of life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They showed us the way. Yes, sir. Maybe we need to go back to yesterday, yes, but don't stay there. Yes, Can I get a witness, somebody? Yes, sir. My father yes, sir. was a great man. Yes, sir. My siblings and I were trained up yes, sir. in the church. That's right. That's right. If we didn't go to church, we couldn't go nowhere else. I know that's right. I know that's right. My father taught us, and he was a pastor. Yes, he taught us the value of life. Yes. One thing I can say about the late Reverend Simon James, yes, we never went a day without a meal on the table. Amen. We never went a day without shoes on our feet. Never went a day without clothes on our backs. Back in those hard time days, my father worked three jobs. My father was a farmer. My father was a barber. And my father worked at, there was a plant there in King Street, the Benero plant. My father worked there for years. We never suffered for anything. Now that was a good man. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Thank you, Jesus. Now hear this. Men, the word rules. This doesn't mean you are to be a cruel master. No, 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 no. Some men have really misinterpreted the word rules. Amen? In this context, rules means to stand up That's right. for what is right, That's right or manage your household. That's right. This means that you should pay all the bills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness, women? Yes, right, right. This means that you should pay all the bills and your wife should sit at home and do nothing. No, I don't mean that. I don't, I don't, I don't mean that. Let us take that back. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me out, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. I believe I just made somebody nervous just now. <laughs> the theology in this passage teaches us that men are called by God to lead the family. Yes, sir. That's what it means. Amen, somebody. Amen. The word uh, says rules his own house well. Yes, sir. Don't try to rule somebody else's house. Don't try to rule that house across the street. Don't try to rule that house on the other side of town. God has called you to rule your house. And he said, rule it well. Can I get a witness, somebody? Are you looking at anything in this word now? Are you getting anything from the word this morning? Oh, glory, hallelujah. I feel the anointing coming. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Saints of God, I, I wish I had time to really teach and preach all of this today, but I got to give you part one. Next Sunday, we'll, we'll give you part two. Praise God. The text, the next phrase says, hear what it says. Hear what it says. 
the very next phrase. It says, thank you, Jesus. Having his children. My, 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 my God. Wow. Having his children. Uh -huh. I'm at verse 4. The second phrase, verse 4. Having his children in submission. Yes. With all reverence. <laughs> my God. Just ponder that for a few moments, saints of God. My God, my God. <laughs> Hear this. His children must submit to his leadership right. with reverence, That's right. all respect. That's right. Amen, somebody? Yeah. Men, by chance, if you are following Jesus, right. your children will follow you. Yeah. I believe I need to say that one one more time. Men, if you are following Jesus, your children will follow you. Not only that, your children will humble themselves under the mighty hands of your authority. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe I'm getting through to somebody now. Yes, sir. Now let us examine the prison system. Ahead, Hello, somebody. Ahead, so many of our young boys and girls of all colors, especially our young African-American men, yes, the next leader, the next future leaders, are incarcerated. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We've got sheriffs. We've got bankers. We've got lawyers and doctors are incarcerated. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Ray. Can I get a witness somebody here today? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, saints of God, the, the worst thing about this thing is some of them are trapped in the system. Yeah, exactly. That's right. On, sir. That's right, Rev. Yeah. They will always be called and labeled a criminal. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right, Rev. They will always have problems finding a job. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Men, we need to do some teaching. That's right. Yeah. Men, we need to bring our sons and daughters up in the word. Amen. Oh, can I get a witness, somebody Amen. here? Amen. Hear this. Men are not accusing you. But I'm just teaching God's word, and what I want you to do is not you. Tell that co-worker. Tell that young man whom you know not is leading his family. Teach him the right way. Yes, tell him, call him aside, son, you're not doing right. Yes. You need to do this. You need to be faithful to your family. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, somebody is listening to me over there. Glory, hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Psalm 22, verse 6, I just read it. Come on. Train up a child yes, sir. Go ahead, in the way he should go. That's right. That's right. Say that again, Rick. That's right. And he will never depart I from know, it. I know that's right. I know that's right. That child may get in trouble, yes, but that child will come back to those words. Yes, that child may go to jail for just a little while, that's right. Go ahead. but he'll turn his life around. Yes, Oh, I believe I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Now, now, now let me go to Ephesians 6. I got to read this passage to you quickly, and we're going home. Ephesians chapter 6. Let me read this passage. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to see the saints of God with your own eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll be so thankful when we get back inside. Amen. Oh, God, hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. Hear what it says. Glory, hallelujah. And we are going to look at the, the, the praise God. Let's look at the first through the fourth verse. Now listen carefully. Listen, 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 listen. Listen carefully. Thank you, Jesus. Bear with me. Bear with me, saints. Here it is. Uh huh. Listen carefully. Children, obey your parents. Yes, sir. All now, right. it doesn't stop there. Come on, come on. But it says, in the Lord. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. Hello, somebody. Right. Right. Obey your parents in the Lord. That's right. Come on. Yeah. This is right. Come on. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The second verse says, honor your father. That's right. 
and mother children, Amen. which is the first commandment with promise. That's right. That's right, right. What does that mean? Well, in the, in the Ten Commandments, God promised them, children, if they obey their parents, their days may be long upon the land. And it's a promise. It is a promise from the Lord. Verse 3. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, come on. Parents, don't, don't you want your children to live a long life? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you want to see your sons, your grands, your great grands, and even some of your great, great, great grands? Come on, sir. Well, we need to start teaching. Amen. Go ahead, Verse 4 tells us, and you fathers, oh, look out, fathers. Come on. Look at this one. Come on. And you fathers. Do not provoke your children to wrath. That's right. In other words, don't make your children angry. That's right. You know, sometimes we have a problem understanding our children. Yes, sir. First, we got to understand that we used to be children. Yes, sir. You got to sit them down and communicate with them. Amen. Even if you have gotten a divorce from your wife, right. don't divorce your children. Can I get a witness, somebody? God will bless your life. Even more. Yeah. I know that's right. If you stay with those children, right. fight for what belongs to you. Yeah. Fight for your offspring. Yeah. Fight for your sons and daughters. Yeah. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Do not provoke your children to wrath. But hear what it says. But bring them up. Yes, In the training and ammunition. Of the Lord. Yes, Men, some of us have fallen short. Yes, sir. Yes. I say some of us have fallen short. Yes, but I just stopped by to tell our men God is good. Oh, yeah. And you see, it doesn't matter, men, where you are with God. Thank God we have a few good men here at Friendship. I have met some mighty good men here. And I'm looking forward to making, building a relationship with you. So we can move mountains. So we can fill valleys. I believe I'm talking to somebody here. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Men, God has appointed you uh, to be leaders. Uh, God has appointed you. Uh, he has ordained you to be leaders. In other words, if he has appointed you, he's going to go with you. If he anointed you, he will give you power to do his will. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. One thing about God. Yes, he made man first. God wants us to step up and take our rightful position. Am I talking to anybody here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Men is going to pull you. God is going to push you. God is going to shove you in the direction that he wants you to go. Let me tell you something, men. If you do the right thing, God may give you long life. God may keep illness away from you. Can I get a witness, somebody here? Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to some righteous men. Step up to the plate. Do what God has called you to do. Somebody ought to say, yeah. You ought to say, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad to be on the path of righteousness. I'm so glad that the Lord has called me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You ought to honk your horn. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that powerful, powerful word. Yes, sir. Rev, Rev you really did it for us today. Yes, Amen. 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 Well, we all need it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but uh, anyhow, we have had a good time up yes. to this point. Amen. And we realize that it's warm outside here. So we want, don't want to do anything to prolong the time. Um, we have next on the agenda, invitation to discipleship. Um, if anybody here that want to become a member, if you're not a member of Friendship, you may come at this time yes. and Pastor James will receive you. Amen. If, we, if there's anybody that's fallen short yes. and wants yes. to renew on, their vow with the Lord, Amen. come on up. Amen. Pastor James will receive you at this time. Amen. You don't have to be ashamed Amen. because there is no perfect person Amen. walking or sitting. Go ahead. So if you to make that move, come on up, yes, and Pastor James will receive you at this time. Yes, sir. Yes. follow Jesus. If God brings you through the closure of this pandemic, God should be the master of your life. He should be the Lord of your soul. He should be your Savior. If the Lord bring you through this crisis, nothing else should come before Jesus. Nothing should come before him. Is there one this morning? Tell you what you do. I know it's hot. Just get out your calls for a few moments. Just get out and stand by your door. Yes, yes, yes. On this Father's Day. On this Father's Day. On this Father's Day. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. So good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, yes, he has been so good to us. Is there one this morning who wants to give their life to Christ? Don't be ashamed. Come on in. Is Minister Presley here? You save my soul. Minister Presley, will you come and pray with us and for us? Oh, oh glory, hallelujah. You save my soul. If you don't know Jesus yet, get to know him, saints. God gave you a second chance. Another chance. Hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands up and worship God. Lift those hands up, saints of God. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, 
Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him, saints of God. Worship the King of kings. again a couple of priests have showed up a couple of people that need to hear from you God is not no strength of our own but it's that the children need to hear from a loving father yes, sir. Yes, sir. A father who looks beyond all of our faults and all of our shortcomings. A father that we have uh, neglected from time to time, but still you blessed us. A God that will look down in the mud and pick us up and, and strengthen us on every leading side. A father that didn't leave us comfortable, but you sent your son, Jesus, down to the cross for our behalf. Yes, 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 yes. Your word said that he hung from the sixth into the ninth hour for your sins and for our sins. I'm reminded in John 3 16 you said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever shall believe in him shall have everlasting life hallelujah 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 God. and for that we, we say thank you Lord we know that it is coming from lips of clay but we want to say something from the inside there the Holy Ghost dwell. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that we are not in the nursing homes. Thank you that we yes. are walking around. Thank you we got activity yes. while lives. Yes, 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 God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you our voice is not shut off in the grave. But we got the time to give you praises and honor. Yes, sir. Lord, we ask that you allow your Holy Ghost anointing to flow in your people right now. That you will touch heart to heart and mind to mind. Yes. For where there is trouble, that you will bring peace. Oh, yes. For where there is hatred, that you will bring love. Yes, sir. For where there is sadness, that you will bring joy. And where there's separation, you would bring together unity. And God, when you do these things, we'll take no credit, but we'll give all the honor and all the glory unto a loving Father, which has bred life unto all humanity. And who still is on the throne. Yes, All of these yes. things we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, it's getting hot, saints of God. You may 
We will turn this back into the hands of Brother Sammy. Praise God. Brother Sammy, praise God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Again, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for all that has been done and yes, all Lord. that has yes, been said. Yes, and we just want to give a thank you to all the ladies for coming out and supporting us on this day. Amen. Amen. Um, we don't have a financial report. They are not ready, so we're going to omit that, but we're going to give... The president of the United Methodist Man, an opportunity to come and say a word with us. Yeah. Brother Venice Neesmith Jr. Amen. Amen. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank God who's ahead of all our life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to thank Amen. Reverend James for that message this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, very uplifting. Yes, sir. I want to thank our male coach. Thank our yes, men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our musician, yes, yes. Uh, Esther, brother Sammy Pratt, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and brother Reverend James, who give us that prayer to close in prayer. Amen, amen. amen. And I want to thank all you ladies for coming out and supporting us this morning. Amen, that amen. That mean a lot. Yes, sir. And I know you're ready to go home, so I'm gonna. Uh, Reverend James, you want? So Reverend James, will come and give the benediction, and we go home. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God is good. Saints of God, we all receive spiritual food this morning. You've got something, a message that you can take back to other men, other young men. And those of you who are dating and courting and your, 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 your baby's father is not in your life, don't worry about that, dude. Get your life together. Get your life together. God has something great, something better in store for you. You crying and wasting time over that dude. And I bet I'll leave that alone for another message. <laughs> praise God, praise God, praise God. Saints of God, let us receive the benediction. We want to thank Minister Presley for that wonderful prayer. Thank you for coming, friendship members. God bless of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us, oh God, to be on top of the ground, and the ground is not on top of us. You have given us another Father's Day celebration. And you didn't have to do it, but you did. Lord, for that, we thank you. Lord, we pray blessing upon our men. God, we pray blessing upon friendship men. The men in the community, the men all over the world, God. Let us stand up and be called by God and led by the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you until we fellowship again. Let the saints of God sing together. Thank you, Jesus. Every heart sing. May the Lord go with you. Amen, amen. Hallelujah.